What's going on you guys? Andrew Roboto here and welcome back to those Knights of Warriors 3 Infinite Cycle where we will be taking on night one or continuing on night one in part two of this video because I had so much trouble doing it in part one but I did get a tip from a YouTuber named Jeremy and I will explain it when I when I play night through night one. So without further ado we will continue on night one in part two of this video and see what has to offer for us. Okay so for Wario um we have to track him on both the camera and the tracking device to know where he is. And the doors can stop him, but he'll just find another path to take to. So we gotta track Wario on the camera. And then we'll track him on the tracking device. Okay, Wario's near me. Gotta move. Because for Wario, you have to avoid him in order to... Otherwise, he'll jump scare you. And then Jeremy also told me that um, Peach will only become active if you close both doors. And that yellow dot right there means Wario's there. Wario, gotta move! Okay, gotta move to avoid Wario. Track, let's check him on the tracking device. Okay, move this way. Okay, he's that way, so we gotta keep moving. Okay, he's in the computer room. Okay, Wario's gonna come toward me at any minute, so I need to move. Because Wario, Wario has the same mechanic as he does in Final Fantasy Wario's Origins, where you have to keep moving to avoid him. Oh, I gotta move, Wario's coming. Okay, I gotta move, because I know Wario's close to me. Gotta keep moving, because I know Wario's gonna kill me. Like he did in part one, where I had so much trouble dealing with him. And the scan and the and the tracking device actually recharges when you plug put it when you plug it into the outlet, so that's a good thing. That way that I won't lose battery when I'm trying to deal with Wario, who decides to be an idiot sometimes. Ah, Wario. Move. Move again. Because Wario's coming. I know for a fact he's nearby, so i got to keep moving to avoid him. The doors can stop him, but he'll, but he'll just find another way to get to you. So it's best not to close the doors when dealing with Wario. You're better off just outrunning him, if you know what I mean. Okay, Wario's that way. I'll keep looking for him. Okay, he's down that way. I'm going to have to recharge this thing eventually, so I can't keep running from Wario forever.
Okay, I gotta move because Warrior's coming. Okay, keep moving like you would in Final Fantasy Warriors Origins. Okay, where's Wario? Okay, he just moved that way. So you gotta keep running. And then check for Warrior. Let's see where he is. Okay, he's that way. So we'll run this way. And then check for Wario on the tracking device. Okay, he's further from me, so that's a good thing. So I can run this way. And let's check for him again. See where he is. Up, oh, he's that way, so I gotta move. Okay, check for him again. Let's see where he is. He's near the office, so I can't go there yet. Uh-oh, Wario's nearby. Gotta move. Okay, we can go back to the office, so that's a good thing. Oh, Jesus, that light startled me, but we actually beat night one. Okay, good. Oh, I thought I was gonna get killed by Wario for a second, but we actually beat the night, so that's a good thing. Alright, and let's see what's next. And we actually have some notes we can look at. Okay, this is Wario. Um, this entity will constantly be on the move for you. The office doors will stop it, but it will simply find another route forcing you to leave the office. It will always move the same way depending on your location. Use this to try to f and figure out a pattern. Your best bet is to get to the server room before dealing with the other entities. Okay. So we have three other entities right here. There. This one's Waluigi. This entity will force its way into the bunker, hurt by the bone crackling sounds as it travels in in the walls. Once it picks a room, it will not move from that spot. It takes long enough to turn around where you simply can where you can simply run past it. To make it leave entirely, make sure it cannot see you when it turns around. Do this by either using the light switch or turning off your flashlight. And then this entity will enter one of the four rooms signaled by the error sound. Entering the room this entity is in and will begin its attack. Deny the ads it gives you either by selecting no or pressing the red X. Once you go through five ads, this, the entity will leave. Enemies are frozen during the attack, but not time. And then this entity, which resembles Bowser, is blind and randomly roams the building, starting in the computer room. When it enters a room, there's a grace period where it will not harm you in any way. However, when this period ends, any noise from your scanner will cause it to attack. Okay, so... So, we will take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications about coming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.